Photographic Processing, Wikipedia Article Audio Photographic processing or development is the chemical means by which photographic film or paper is treated after photographic exposure to produce a negative or positive image. Photographic processing transforms the latent image into a visible image, makes this permanent and renders it insensitive to light. Common Processes All processes based upon the gelatin silver process are similar, regardless of the film or paper's manufacturer. Exceptional variations include instant films such as those made by Polaroid and thermally developed films. Kodachrome required Kodak S proprietary K14 process. Kodachrome film production ceased in 2009, and K14 processing is no longer available as of December 30, 2010. Ilfachrome materials use the dye destruction process. All photographic processing use a series of chemical baths. Processing especially the development stages, requires very close control of temperature, agitation, and time. Black and white negative processing The washing time can be reduced and the fixer more completely removed if a hypo-clearing agent is used after the fixer. Black and white reversal processing Once the film is processed, it is then referred to as a negative. Color processing The negative may now be printed, the negative is placed in an enlarger and projected onto a sheet of photographic paper. Many different techniques can be used during the enlargement process. Two examples of enlargement techniques are dodging and burning. Further processing Alternatively, the negative may be scanned for digital printing or web viewing after adjustment, retouching, and slash or manipulation. Processing Apparatus A euro in modern automatic processing machines, the stop bath is replaced by mechanical squeegee or pinching rollers. These treatments remove much of the carried over alkaline developer, and the acid, when used neutralizes the alkalinity to reduce the contamination of the fixing bath with the developer. This process has three additional stages. Small-scale processing Commercial processing Chromogenic materials use dye couplers to form color images. Modern color negative film is developed with the C41 process and color negative print materials with the RA4 process. These processes are very similar, with differences in the first chemical developer. The C41 and RA4 processes consist of the following steps. In the RA4 process, the bleach and fix are combined. This is optional and reduces the number of processing steps. Transparency films, except Kodachrome, are developed using the E6 process, which has the following stages. In some old processes, the film emulsion was hardened during the process, typically before the bleach. Such a hardening bath often used aldehydes, such as formaldehyde and glutaraldehyde. In modern processing, these hardening steps are unnecessary because the film emulsion is sufficiently hardened to withstand the processing chemicals. Black and white emulsions both negative and positive, may be further processed. The image silver may be reacted with elements such as selenium or sulfur to increase image permanence and for aesthetic reasons. This process is known as toning. In selenium toning, the image silver is changed to silver selenide, in sepia toning, the image is converted to silver sulfid. These chemicals are more resistant to atmospheric oxidizing agents than silver. 
If color negative film is processed in conventional black and white developer, and fixed and then bleached with a bath containing hydrochloric acid and potassium dichromate solution, the resultant film, once exposed to light, can be redeveloped in color developer to produce an unusual pastel color effect. Before processing, the film must be removed from the camera and from its cassette, spool, or holder in a lightproof room or container. In amateur processing, the film is removed from the camera and wound onto a reel in complete darkness. The reel holds the film in a spiral shape, with space between each successive loop so the chemicals may flow freely across the film's surfaces. The reel is placed in a specially designed lightproof tank where it is retained until final washing is complete. Sheet films can be processed in trays, in hangers, or rotary processing drums. Each sheet can be developed individually for special requirements. Stand development, long development in dilute developer without agitation, is occasionally used. In commercial processing, the film is removed automatically or by an operator handling the film in a light-proof bag from which it is fed into the processing machine. The processing machinery is generally run on a continuous basis with films spliced together in a continuous line. All the processing steps are carried out within a single processing machine with automatically controlled time, temperature, and solution replenishment rate. The film or prints emerge washed and dry and ready to be cut by hand. Some modern machines also cut films and prints automatically, sometimes resulting in negatives cut across the middle of the frame where the space between frames is very thin or the frame edge is indistinct, as in an image taken in low light. <laughs>